policy that we have introduced this year alone, uh, mid-January, over procurement opportunities spent on local companies was somewhere around 314 million. That was Director of the Local Content Secretariat, Dr. Martin Patab, speaking at the seal strike ceremony for the Jaguar FPSO. According to Dr. Patab, this is intended to boost local companies and employment opportunities, while also bolstering the role of Guyanese companies. New hires for the year as of, sorry, as of June um, this year is around 424 for 40 major tier one companies, including the contractor. Total employment is somewhere around four to 500, but we all know if we consider, we look holistically at all the tier one companies, tier two companies, it's somewhere around 6,500. And that is a huge um, increase compared to last year. Due to the diversification of the energy sector, Dr. Patap acknowledged a few challenges faced by many companies, such as the employment ratio of locals compared to foreign nationals, as well as compliance. We want to strike the right balance where companies here operating in Guyana feel comfortable that yes, there's predictability, there's confidence in the market, and at the same time for the for the locals them to feel confident that yes, we have the secretariat, we have the guidance of the government, policy direction, etc., that are putting things in place. Additionally, the local content director stated that his office is working towards increasing the number of women-owned companies in the consortium. We want to see more suppliers, especially from women's side. Um, and focus on some of those low-hanging fruits. We want to see smaller, medium-sized businesses take advantage of the opportunities as well. Patab also announced plans to launch a local content app before the end of the year. Antonio Day reporting for the AGP Nightly News.